Hey guys, Brent Mail here from brentmailphotography.com. And today my quick tip for you when photographing birds, we're going to run through my workflow. And let's just see what I was thinking when I was actually photographing this cormorant recently uh, when I was on a camping trip away. All right, so here's the first image. I saw this cormorant on a tree that's kind of the branch has fallen into the water. And I photographed it with the Fujifilm X-T1 camera which I was um, testing out at the time and the 50 to 140 millimeter f2.8 lens which is a great lens uh, with a great camera actually the xt ones an excellent mirrorless camera so I photographed this and I obviously went to a pretty wide angle 50 millimeters and obviously it's not a great shot because you can barely see the cormorant there's so much happening in this image that's so not the best so let's go the next one so what I did was I zoomed in I actually walked waded into the uh, into the dam the lake and I, I got a little bit closer and I zoomed right in you can see that's at 140 millimeters and I'm shooting reasonably open with the aperture so a very shallow depth of field image so I'm shooting aperture priority and um, it's the shutter speed's gone to one four thousandth of a second and that's a, lo a, a much better image you know I can see the cormorant kind of near the middle of the screen it's not probably the best composition but there's still a lot of distracting things here so so I thought okay let's see what I do if I actually change the background now so I waded further into the water and then I shot back towards the trees and I wanted to try and get the cormorant on the other th you know with the trees in the background and you can see someone actually waiting to, or I think he's going out on his kayak over there so for me uh, the background yeah it might work if I have a very shallow depth of field which I am I'm shooting at f3.2 uh, at the at the 50 millimeter range on this lens so if I zoomed right in at 140 millimeters that's a lot better shot with a you know not such a bad background and I thought okay well yeah that's not a bad background but what actually happens if I bend my knees and I get really low and I actually put the sky behind the cormorant so all I had to do was bend my knees that's the next shot here I went a wider angle just to show you and there's also obviously a lot of distracting elements at the top here with the, the trees kind of overhanging and then I zoomed right in so I zoomed right in there's a little bit of the tree overhanging on the top there but I think this is the money shot for me why because I've changed my angle so I've also changed the angle that I'm photographing the cormorant at when it uh, comes to the angle of the Sun um, so that me that means that my sky is a lot bluer than that very first one that I photographed so we can actually run back to that first one and I'll just show you you can see the angle that I was shooting at the sky is very uh, kind of blown out and not that great so this one's a lot better so I changed my angle I also got some green foliage in the bo in the bottom here which kind of adds to the image for me I've zoomed right in I've got this uh, you know the tree that it's standing on sunning itself and that's you know leading your eye in from the bottom left here so it's a better composition I haven't got the cormorant right in the middle of the frame and I've got left some space for him to look into so he's looking into this empty space instead of looking out of the image so for me this is a much better composition than all the others so there's my workflow guys I'll just run through that really quickly so saw the bird zoomed right in decided I wanted to change the background moved out onto the lake I'm, I'm about uh, waist deep over here and got the trees in the background zoomed right in still found the trees a little bit distracting then I bent my knees got down low and then zoomed right in and that was the winning shot what do you guys think do you have a similar workflow when you're photographing birds please leave me comments below this is Brent have an awesome day